What is up guys, it's The Real Deal, back with another Ray Challenge video and at the moment there is a special tournament for Spider going on um, where you can only use champions from the Telerian Alliance. Um, so there's some really nice rewards here as well, there's an Ancient Shard, there's um, Jammy Dodgers and also if you're in a weaker bracket there's a good chance you can get yourself some Relentless gear. Uh, Spider's a great place to farm as well because you get loads of silver and get some nice accessories for your champions. Um, so I've managed to build an all epic team for um, Spider um, Hard Mode Stage 1. Um, so you could farm Stage 20 and 25, but I'd rather do Hard Mode just because there's a chance to get Mythical gear. And it's basically the same as doing Stage 25, and you have that chance of just getting better gear. So it's definitely worth it, in my opinion. Um, so this is the team that we've got. We've got uh, Archmage, we've got Godseeker, two Royal Guards, and Stagnite. So let's, uh, let's just uh, do a run right now. So uh, Archmage is a great champion. He's going to throw out loads of buffs for us. Um, and he's going to go second. And we've got Stagnite going first. Uh, basically, my Stagnite, Stagnite has sort of a ridiculous build. They, Stagnite only needs to just go before the Royal Guards. So he can put out that um, decreased defense. So we can just do more damage to the Spiderlings and the Spider. Um, Archmage is going to just throw out um, that extra crit damage buff which is just great. Um, and then we've got Godseeker in there just basically for healing and revives. And Godseeker's a great champion. She does have two revives. So if someone drops down, her passive will just instantly put um, revive on death on them. So they just instantly get picked back up. And then if someone dies again, she can um, just do a revive on her A3. And it also reduces cooldowns as well. And the champion that's most likely to die is Royal Guard. So she's going to reset his A3 meaning that he's going to be able to do more damage to the Spiderlings, which is great. But um, yeah, and I've done this about, I've probably done about 20 runs, and so far it's 100% success rate. And run times are about a minute and a half, so it's pretty quick as well. Um, and it's really difficult as well, because you can't use champions like Prince Kaimar, um, you can't use Renegades, so you can't use resets to do this faster. Um, but still... Being able to get 100% win rate and do this in a relatively fast team with all epics is just insane. Um, but yeah, so that is the team. If you guys have got, um, you know, a team that you've managed to build that can do this really quickly, 100% win rate, please drop a comment below. Let me know because I want to be able to help other players out there as well. That'd be great. So please do help out your fellow Raiders. Um, yeah, but let's check out the gear and masteries. So just before we do check out the gear and masteries, I do want to ask if you are new to the channel, please do like and subscribe. It helps my channel grow and it motivates me to make more content for you guys. Uh, so first on the list, we've got Archmage Helmet. Great, great champion. Um, so gloves, we've got crit damage. You could go crit rate as well if you can't reach the stats. Uh, most important stats on him are speed and accuracy. You want to prioritize those first and crit rate. He does need 100% crit rate to land his stuns. So that's what you want to focus first before you start Focusing on things like crit damage, it's going to increase his damage. And then we've got attack percentage chest, speed on his boots because we do want him nice and fast. Uh, ring, I should really swap this out for um, an attack ring so he does more damage. And um, a crit damage amulet would be much better than HP as well. And uh, then we've got accuracy on the banner. He does need accuracy on the banner so you can land those stuns. So yeah, basically HP, not really important. But um, the stats that I'd say that you really do want to focus on him for this is attack, um, speed, crit rate, crit damage, and accuracy. And it is important that he goes either first or second on this team. So you do want him to be nice and fast. Um, then masteries. Very, very simple masteries. Crit rate, crit damage, life drinker for survivability to keep us topped up. Um, and then just basically all about damage and then going into War Master so we do more damage to the boss. Um, and also, it's just nice to have Lore of Steel just to bump up our stats for the Perception Gear and Speed that we've got on him. Number two, we've got Stagnite on the list. Um, mine's built pretty ridiculously just because I used to use him for Iron Twins, so he did have loads of accuracy, so you don't need to go that extreme at all. Uh, but he's got 240 speed, so he can be either the fastest or second fastest. He just needs to go before the Royal Guards. Um, so stats you want to focus on him are HP for survivability, 
um, defense. And this is for sort of other content. This isn't really for the spider, but it is useful. Um, so he's got 3.2k defense, 240 speed. So it does need to be nice and fast. And then accuracy, you only need about, I'd say 300 plus is fine. Uh, 500 is just, that's just way over. You don't need to go overkill like I have. Um, so gloves, we've got defense. We've got accuracy on the chest. Speed on the booties, um, defense on his ring, HP on the amulet, and then accuracy on his banner. Um, masteries, very, very standard masteries for uh, Stag Knight. Um, and basically, on the left hand side, it's all about damage, going into War Master, and a bit of survivability again with Life Drinker. Support is just all about getting that extra accuracy. We've also got um, Arcane uh, Celerity as well. Which basically has a chance to increase our tournament as well to keep him nice and fast. And then Laura still just to bump up our stats as well. Um, you do need to go Master Hexer to basically increase, um, decrease attack and deep drop defense with him as well. And he only has 95% chance to land decrease defense, so you do need to put a sniper on him as well. Um, so then let's check out. So the Royal Guards, we've got two, and they're both pretty much built the same. So Royal Guard number one is in a reflex set. It doesn't matter what gear set you really put him in. It's all about stats. So we've got crit damage on the gloves. We've got HP on the chest. And we've got speed on the boots. And um, mine is built for Hydra. Just want to mention that quickly. Uh, HP on the ring. Uh, crit damage on the amulet. And then HP on the banner for survivability. So we've got 47k HP. Um, I would love for him to have a bit, of, a bit more defense, like 3k defense would be great. Again, that would help with Spider and also help with survivability for Hydra. Um, 212 speed, 100% crit rate, and then as much crit damage as you can. Um, a bit more accuracy would be nice on him as well. I know my other one does have more accuracy built onto him um, to help land um, decrease defense for Hydra. That's no good for Spider though on hard mode. It doesn't, um, doesn't work. And then Masteries again, all about that damage, going into War Masters, and then a little bit in the defense tree, just so we can get counter attacked with our A1, just so we can do more damage to the boss um, and hopefully get those War Master props as well. Uh, and then Royal Guard number two, slight, probably need to redo his Masteries to be honest, but very similar. I would definitely choose the Masteries from um, Royal Guard number one. Uh, and then again, as you can see, just slightly different build. And, but this time, see, they definitely need more HP on them. As you can see, they did die in Spider. So that would definitely give us a better chance of survivability. And they've only got 211 speed. Gone a little bit overkill with the um, crit rate and accuracy. Got 380 accuracy, which is really nice. And that is because um, I built them specifically for Hydra. They definitely need a lot more HP. And then last but not least, um, let's have a look at Godseeker. So using Godseeker number one, who is in a regen and a mortal set. So we got um, HP on the gloves, HP on the chest, and then HP on the boots. Uh, this this um, Godseeker is built for Bommel and Hydra. Um, so that's why she's got so much HP. But yeah, some really nice gear on her. Uh, then we've also got HP on the ring. Uh, defense on the uh, amulet and then HP on the ring as well. And again, really nice stats on the um, banner. Uh, sorry, yeah, on the banner. So we've got 80k HP. I don't, you don't need to go that extreme for this. I'd say 50k plus should be more than enough. You probably want to push 3k defense. 188 speed is fine. You want her to be the slowest on the team. Uh, and then the rest of the stats really don't matter. And then these are the masteries. So again, all about damage, going into War Masters, and then a bit of defense, survivability, and trying to get counterattack so we can proc our A1. So we can hit some War Masters, but also do some healing on the team as well. But yeah, great, great champion. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.